Hi, I'm Epstein. Thank you for buying my template and welcome to this tutorial. If you are new in After Effects, don't worry, it's pretty simple to use. So, first thing to do is open your project. Here it's already open, so I'll go and close it. And go to File, Open Project, and choose the After Effects project file. Open me, open it. Okay, so first thing to do is to import your logo, of course. So you can double click here or go to File, Import, File. And then select your logo. I'll, I'm gonna use this one for this tutorial. Uh, just don't forget to have an alpha channel on your logo. This mask has uh, transparency. Okay, so once you have your logo, now you can begin to edit your template. Okay, so open the first composition here. It's named your logo here. Open it and just hide or delete this one and select your logo and drag it down. You may have to rescale it by pressing S for scale and scale it down and maybe change the position up so press P for position and just play with the setting until you want to have uh, just try to make it in the center don't uh, put it uh, left or right so just leave it in the center okay and maybe scale it up a little bit okay and you have this two layer helper sorry two helper layer you can make them visible by clicking here and these layers are here to help you to not to position your logo so do not cross this uh, border black border and once you uh, position your logo just hide them hide this two layer okay now that we set our logo we can already go uh, close we can close this one and uh, go to the customization composition double click and we see that we have our new logo here the strap line is not well positioned but we will fix that later so second thing to do is to uh, open your strap line composition and uh, just retype whatever you want here so just type the uh, test level okay nice I like this strap line so um, the next thing to do is to choose your logo look between um, metal or keep your original, original color so open this uh, composition and here we have two layer you will notice that uh, this one is visible just make just make the uh, look you want the only look visible you have uh, this original color or metallic texture uh, let's say metallic for now and once you set it close it I close the strap line too and finally we arrive to the last composition the customization one and here it's pretty simple to customize so we have uh, first thing uh, maybe the strap line control so select this layer and go to the effect control tab and here you have three sliders the horizontal movement vertical or scale so move it maybe down for this one and you see that the shadow is moving with it automatically so um, maybe put it just here and scale it down okay and that's it if you want to change the color of the strap line just select strap line and uh, go to effect controls and here we have a ramp you have two colors that uh, compose a gradient so if you want to keep it black leave it as it is uh, but if you want to make some uh, gradient here so play with the color that you want or if you want to keep it uh, the same color choose the same color for the both 
uh, part of the gradient maybe not this uh, this green so I'll just uh, pick up black because I like it when it was black just black okay uh, last thing to do is to color grad it so open this color gradient layer and here we have some customization to do so first thing the contrast if you play with it you'll see that it changed the contrast of the whole animation that's keep it at 50 for now the vignette is this uh, dark border and you can play with it also maybe delete it or make it more punchy it's as you like as you feel and here some color garden uh, sliders so the first one the cinematic ambush it's a, a preset that I prepared for you so if you don't want to use this one just make it to zero and play with the other uh, slide. So here we have the cold ambience that we're gonna make your animation more cold, blue, the hot ambience more red, okay, and the green more green. Okay, so you can play with with uh, using two or three sliders to to have the, the, the color that you want so just play with it until you have a nice uh, color for example like this and that's it the audio is already included so it's the, you have already finished five minutes customization almost and once you, you have your result so open one of these three composition depend what resolution you want to export for example this 720 mm -hmm. and just uh, go to once you open it be careful it's selected and go to composition add to render queue okay and now this render queue open and you have here to set your settings so here is the name of the composition we are uh, ready to render be careful to have the same name of the composition that you want to render in this case this final 720 so for the setting it depends of what you want so there is a lot of tutorial about how to render on after effect but just uh, quickly we have this for choosing the format uh, flv h264 or move quicktime format and once you set your format you can choose here the codec okay depend depend of what you want and just don't forget to check out this audio amp output and to put it into 44 144 and say ok and then go to output to let's just type the, <laughs> the name of the animation you want to export and click save and then click render so that's it thank you and uh, if you like it write it Please, please, wait, 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 wait